Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, here we share good food from Majority Kitchen. Oh, it's so good to say that again. I've missed everybody. I've missed the channel so much. So it's so nice to be back doing what I love. So this video was actually filmed before our break. More about that later. But this video was filmed, I think it might have been the beginning of May. Um, because there's a couple of Eastery things still on it. So... I mean, it's still relevant. There's still like meals on here that are quite relevant, but just ignore the Easter stuff. <laughs> so this is the Monday of that week. This is just some open sandwiches that I made. And that's pickle and cheese. And these are the bake at home baguettes, which are really, really nice. I think they're the Tesco ones. So I like a picky plate like this. Just some bits and some baked goods. These came from Lidl. I think Lidl's the best bakery. So these are definitely Easter because I remember these from Easter. Uh, the Easter donut and the white chocolate cookie. Well, yeah, I'm sure we can still get the white chocolate cookie now though. So yeah, um, we've had quite some drama. As you know, I was originally going to be away because my kitchen was being redone, but um, that's still... Um, no further forward uh, but I've been very poorly I don't really like to bring drama to the channel I like to keep it about the food but I have I haven't been well I've been really poorly I've been diagnosed with a life-changing illness and medication for the rest of my life but I'm so grateful to be all right and still here because a lot of my family didn't make it to the age I am so I'm very grateful to still be here and still doing things that I love so I thank God for that. So anyway, this is some um, ready meal. This is a chicken hot pot ready meal and some cream egg trifle that we had at Easter. Easter seems so long ago now, doesn't it? We're into summer, into June already. I still haven't got my kitchen done, would you believe? As my, um, my family member who was going to do the kitchen took time off work and then I got sick so <laughs> we had to just put that project to one side so now my kitchen is still upside down <laughs> I have workbenches and I have flooring and I have to work around it all trying to cook so it has been pretty hectic so this is a uh, chippy this was cheese savory chips and curry sauce this is if I don't get fish and chips this is what I will get so I am thinking that I might actually one day get a kitchen, a workable kitchen. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen soon. Definitely before the end of June. So I can't, I can't keep stepping over things. <laughs> so this is macaroni cheese. You've seen us make macaroni cheese before. Um, you melt your butter, flour, plain flour, equal parts of both. And you just whisk that together and cook it down and make a roux. And then I like to add semi skimmed milk and some cheese and some um, seasoning, salt and pepper. This is my son's, my. Uh, Elder, uh, eldest, youngest son's <laughs> favourite thing that I ever cook is this one. This pasta dish. And I like the ready-made, the ready-made, the ready-grated cheese. And then you just add your, your parboiled macaroni or pasta shapes, whichever you want to use.
and then it goes into the oven. I like to keep it quite runny at this point because it does absorb, the pasta will absorb a bit more of that sauce in the oven. And then more cheese on the top. So as I said, it's really, really great to be back. I have missed the channel. I've missed talking to you all in the in the comments and I've just missed planning the videos and just planning the food, you know? It's been really, really weird being away from it. But we've already started filming this week's meals for Monday. So we have some good ones coming up this week. Some really nice retro meals, if you can remember from childhood. <laughs> we have a couple of those. But I think it was a programme on telly about um, 80s food. I don't know if you caught that. I think it was Channel 4 or Channel 5. And that really, really inspired us to, to make some things from the past. So they're coming up this week. So this is the macaroni cheese, fresh from the oven. And that lovely crunchy cheese topping that everybody fights over. <laughs> and we had that in some balls, some pasta balls with just some, some garlic bread. So that was the Thursday of that week. Yes, the Thursday. <laughs> so Friday was another takeaway. So this was their takeaway lasagna from the fish and chip shop. And I also ordered some garlic mushrooms and the potato wedges to go with that. I think it was a meal deal. You ordered so much and you got a burger free and some other things free, which me husband and son ate and there was enough of that takeaway lasagna for lunch the next day as well that was only half of it huge portions it was lovely very garlicky though as you can expect from garlic mushrooms <laughs> so this is the Saturday this is um, roast beef and gravy sandwiches now these are really easy to do if you get some some roast beef I just leave it in the packet and I microwave it for about a minute and then I make up some gravy it's just instant gravy with granules and then I dip the microwave beef into the gravy and then into the bun and Mr Howie he didn't want um, this he wanted egg mayonnaise I think likes his cold sandwiches This is hot beef. This is my eldest boy's favourite. <laughs> the messier the better. <laughs> and dip them lids in as well. And some more lovely goodies from Lidl. The white chocolate cookie. I've stopped going because Every time I go in, I'm at the bakery straight away. So I've stopped going in. <laughs> Terrible. And their donuts. Beautiful. So this is the Sunday. This is cottage pie. Really quick, easy version of cottage pie. Just bung everything in the pan with a bit of water. This is the 5% fat lean uh, minced beef and some frozen onions, a bit of water just to cover it and some mashed potato and I just like to give it a, a rough up on the top just to make it all crispy and I spray it as well with a bit of spray olive oil 
E, the price of olive oil. Can you believe it? Have you seen it? I could not believe the price of olive oil when I went and done my shopping <laughs> online last week. Terrible. So this is the cottage pie from the oven. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know how people are coping, but I am. I'm just not buying olive oil at the minute. I'm just buying the ordinary vegetable oil. It's shocking. Nearly eight pounds for like five hundred mils. I couldn't believe it. So we had tinned veg with this. These are tinned carrots, which we all prefer anyway. And some marafat peas. This is Mr. Howe's plate because I'm not that keen on them. And some Yorkshire puddings, just frozen ones from the freezer. And we did do a little dessert that week. We, we just pulled something from the freezer. just instant gravy some gravy granules so yeah the dessert was a, a lotus biscoff ice cream cake which was basically it was just it was uh, a vionetta <laughs> in biscoff clothing <laughs> it was lovely though i don't think i would seek it out again but it was very nice so that's it from me this week. I will be back again on Monday with another Meals of the Week. Do take a look at my About info because I've updated my new video schedules on there. It's so nice to be back. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. I went to Bladen Races, it was on the 9th of June. 1862 in a summer's afternoon We took the bus for Bamberg's and she was heavy laden And away we went to like Collingwood Street that's on the boat of Leiden And oh lad, you should have seen us cannon Passing the folks upon the boat just as though we're scanning